Hundreds of dogs and cats were tortured and many died in Somerdale back in 2012. And the woman who abused the animals was back in a Baldwin County courtroom today. As Local 15's James Gordon reports, prosecutors say Sharon Dewitt, who is now facing jail time, is also trying to work the system. Sharon? Good morning. I'm going to answer any questions. Sharon Dewitt walked out of the courtroom without saying a word. I'm disappointed that we weren't able to have a resolution today. Prosecutors were set to argue that Dewitt had broken her agreement and then lied to authorities about owning another pet. Back in 2012, she and her mother were found guilty of animal abuse. The Purple Hearted Puppies case, as it's known, centered around the torturing of more than 200 cats and dogs at a boarding facility in Somerdale. Just last month, prosecutors discovered Dewitt had posted social media pictures of her and a puppy she was raising, violating the court order. So now she faces up to 10 years in prison. Humane Society volunteers who worked hard to save and adopt the animals say getting Dewitt to face the courts again is about sending the right message. You shouldn't violate a judge's order. And there are people out there like me, there's plenty of people out there like me, who take this seriously. This isn't about just her. This is about everybody who abuses an animal. Everybody. Earlier this week, Dewitt checked herself into a rehab center claiming she had suicidal feelings. Meantime, the DA says it's just an attempt to work the system. From our perspective, Ms. Dewitt continues to attempt to manipulate the system. Um, continues, instead of being remorseful for the animals that she killed, uh, to simply feel sorry for herself, and, and that doesn't surprise me anymore. Dewitt is due back in court January 15th. At that time, prosecutors say they will push for jail time. She should not be allowed to care for anything that lives and breathes as far as I'm concerned. In Bay Manette, James Gordon, Local 15 News.